The United Nations Human Rights Office on Friday condemned the bungled and chaotic execution of an Oklahoma death row inmate, which left him thrashing on the gurney during a chaotic process that lasted nearly two hours. A spokesman for the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights in Geneva said that the process to which Clayton Glockett was subjected on Tuesday may have amounted to cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment. Under international human rights law, it may have violated the U.S. Constitution. Do you know this lady? Do you know her? Her name is Stephanie Neiman. She's been dead over a decade, almost 15 years. She was killed by Mr. Lockett. You know, Clayton Lockett, the guy who was just executed with the execution went wrong. Oklahoma took the focus off of Stephanie and put it on Clayton. See, Oklahoma's the one that's to blame for this. Not Lockett. And I would love for the focus of this story to be all about Stephanie, but it can't be. It's not because Lockett's sitting here talking to us. Lockett's dead. He's gone. Because we got to talk about the process. We got to talk about what happened in Oklahoma and how you can just decide, hey, let's change the chemicals that we execute people with. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's, you know, let's pick some other chemicals. And then when we ask what the chemicals are, you say, no, you don't think anybody should know what you're using. And that would be fine, Oklahoma, if you were doing it in your own country, if Oklahoma was his own country. But when you live in the United States, you have to live under certain rules and regulations. And that is, we have to know what the hell you're using to kill people with under our name. And you didn't do that. Now we got a problem. Now, instead of following the procedures, such as using a backup vein, you didn't. You used one vein in the groin area, and then that didn't work, and you didn't know it didn't work until well after most inmates are already dead. So you really botched this. You really screwed this up. And instead of us focusing on putting some closure behind Stephanie Neiman's death, we got to talk about this for the next couple months. And it puts the focus on the death penalty itself, which is becoming less and less favorable because less and less people trust the government. And more and more people are starting to see what the, the latest study was at Washington State study shows. That if the, if the victim is white and the perpetrator is black, he's more than likely, that, that killer is more than likely to be executed. Even if a white person commits the same crime on a black, same exact crime, pretty same situations, it's just something that happens. And it's not the attorneys. It's not the prosecutors. It's the jurors. It's America. These are facts. These are numbers. I'm going to link you to it so you can go see it for yourself. But I don't want to talk about that right now because I'd rather talk about Stephanie. But I can't talk about Stephanie because I got to talk about what's going on in Oklahoma. I got to talk about how you decided unilaterally that you didn't have to answer to anyone. That you could just make up the rules. That you could just change the concoction for the execution of the population without telling anybody what it was. So you screwed this up. You took away the closure that these parents needed. You have us all talking about Lockett now. And we shouldn't be talking about Lockett. We should be talking about Stephanie. The only child of the demons. But we can't. Because our system is broken. And if we can't get it correct, if we can't get it corrected, if we can't fix it, then we can't execute people. Because there's some things we can get wrong. There's some things you just can't get wrong. At least not in a civilized, just society. Now, if you want to hit people in the back of the head and throw them in ditches, if that, that's what you want to do, if that's the form of execution you want to pursue, fine. It just won't be state regulated. You can do that. Just be prepared to be the next one who's sitting in the seat after you do it. And then we'll execute, we'll execute you according to the standards approved by our government. One nation under God with liberty and justice for all. 
My condolences to the Neiman family. You deserve better.